in our previous videos we have uh, discussed about iam in detail we understood about the need of iam and the use of iam and along with that we understood about the resource hierarchies under iam and uh, roles uh, what are roles what are the types of roles and differences between each roles and uh, we understood about principles and different types of accounts in detail right so let's understand the same uh, practically in the google cloud console okay so before getting into it uh, let me recall once again iam is a method in google cloud platform that determines who can do what on the gcp resource okay the term who here refers as the principal uh, so principal can be a single user or a group of users or it can be an service account which can be used by the applications and what level of uh, privilege or permission that de that defines the term role okay and here again resource gcp resource is the services that is available in the gcp platform so let's understand uh, the same let's understand about principles how to create principles in uh, how to create principles and associate the roles uh, in the iam practically from the google cloud console so as you know uh, this is our google cloud dashboard so in order to get into that iam go to this navigation menu and here if you scroll down you can see iam here iam and admin okay uh, so it might be pinned or unpinned okay so now i, I have uh, pinned it by default if it is in unpinned then you can go here in more products and it should be available here maybe you can pin it okay if required if you are admin then definitely you might require it so that uh, generally we would pin uh, the frequently used services okay and for any reasons if you are unable to see here uh, the iam and admin then you can go here and in the search tab which is available in the top right you can go here and search as like iam so once you search with that you will get the option iam and admin so you can click from here as well so it will redirect to the same iam and admin options okay so we are just inside the iam and admin okay so these are all the features and functions under the iam so the very first let me uh, show you how because as iam is a process of defining who can do what in the gcp resource means it's defining uh roles to the principles right so let me show you how to add a principal to the gcp and uh, assign him a role okay when i say role let's see uh, how we can assign a basic role and custom role and predefined roles okay maybe i can delete it uh, which i was which i used earlier during practice okay now i'm just deleting this particular principal and i'll show you how to i had a principle to the gcp platform okay just consider that uh, there is a new employee who joined in your organization and you are the uh, admin you want to give him a role so what you do first you should add his name or add add that principle to the google cloud platform and you will assign a role to him only then he can access the resources based on the role you have provided right so in order to add that principal means the user to the uh, to the gcp what you need to do in order to add a new principal under iam you will be seeing an option as like add here at the top just click it so once you click add it will give an option to add a new principals so when i say you can add a new principal it can be using their if if the account is created using their um, you know gmail uh, gmail address it you can add with their gmail address and if it is with their group gmail group email address with that and if it is a service account definitely you'll be having a g service account uh, information and a uh, google workspace domain as well and uh, if in case as we said in our example uh, you are allocating you are adding a principal right so in this situation 
your company would be having a uh, google enterprise account so that you will be given uh, that particular uh, principal would be having the enterprise google account right so in my example i'm just giving one uh, email address my learnings 369@gmail.com just a dummy kind of an email address okay so this is how you will add the principal to the gcp with the email address basically and if it is a service account which is used by application then you would be adding using the g service account um, of the application okay here you would be seeing the option as like a role so uh, as we know earlier what is that i am is a method of defining who can do what means with what level of privilege and permission to any resource means principal allocating roles means allocating roles to the principal for the gcp resource right so now you have added a user means the principal and now you need to define what level of role or what what role you need to assign him okay so uh, recalling the roles there are three type of roles as you know first one is basic role second predefined role and the third one is customized role so basic role as you know basic role is not uh, you know the least privilege it's most powerful because it has multiple permissions um, across the gcp platform so practically in the enterprise network or practically in the production we will not be using the basic roles right so but still i'll show you how to assign it so uh, when you click here in the roles right there is an option as like basic okay so if you click basic then you would be seeing the list of basic roles that are available maybe if you can i if i can give owner then it means that he gains full access to most of the google cloud resources here okay and if i save him save it now the new uh, user with the uh, the new principal means basically the user with email address mylearnings369@gmail.com um, is added to gcp with the privilege owner means the role owner so now we have seen how to uh, you know add a principal with the owner role uh, now let's understand about the predefined roles and the customized role okay so in order to understand about the predefined and customized role we should navigate to the roles option under the iam so uh, i just want to clear one more thing so whatever role you create here it would be seen there I means uh, whenever you're adding a new principal right so there we have seen the list of roles in the scroll button uh, in in the drop option so whenever you create any role or if you want to use the predefined role it is already part of there so let me show you uh, something let let me create a customized role and we'll use it okay and uh, for now just ignore this four custom roles because this was created during my earlier practice sessions and uh, so now uh maybe what i can do i can just short it to avoid confusions okay great so these are uh, so once you come to roles right it will show you list of roles uh for now when i am recording it is uh, almost 1091 roles and these roles are the predefined roles that are created by the google and it's maintained by them okay and uh you can either directly use this role uh, to any principal or else if you want you can use the customized role again when it com comes to customized role you have two options you can build a role you can create a role from the scratch or else you can again um, customize the predefined roles in the way you want okay say for example um maybe i'm just taking bigquery data viewer okay so bigquery data viewer it is an predefined role okay and uh, just consider if i want to uh, 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 in our example we consider that there is a new joinee which i want to give him a role right so if in case i'm giving this role bigquery data viewer role so let's see what are the permissions that he can gain so basically this particular role has 16 assigned permissions but we can ignore the last one because it 
there are due to the account means uh, a citizen trial account um, maybe we cannot get the last one but on the very whole uh, 16 assigned permissions means basically this predefined roles has 16 permissions across the gcp platform okay so what i can do i can go there and okay it's a world one right let me refresh it okay so this is the principle that we have added right so let me go to that principle edit the principle and let me uh, change the role okay and uh, so talking about the predefined role we 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 have just seen about the big query right you can also you, if you are aware about the role you can type it directly else what you can do you can just scroll down here okay you can just scroll down here so uh all the services all the roles will be grouped okay say for example all the uh, role uh, that are related to bigquery will be available here so under bigquery if you see uh, this is one of the predefined role that we are talking right if i add here then this is a predefined uh, role so which has 16 permissions across the 16 permissions that is related to the bigquery so once if i save here what happens this particular user um, who has this uh, email address right he would be uh, having access only for this he will be having only the 16 permissions that are uh, related to bigquery and he won't have access to any other services okay so this is how we can use the uh, predefined roles okay in the parallel i'll show you how to customize this predefined roles so now we have seen about basic roles and we have seen about using the predefined roles right uh, let me uh, show you how to create customized roles so as i said earlier customized role can be done in two ways one is you can create a role from the scratch or else you can customize the predefined role uh, in my example i'm just going into the same role again big data bigquery data viewer right so as i showed you earlier it has 16 assigned permissions okay and uh, just consider that um, this is something this export option is something very confidential because i don't want uh, that employee to export the table information however he can get list okay he can see it but i don't want him to export that tables to get that informations okay uh, so what i can do out of this permissions i can remove this particular permissions and i can assign him the rest of the okay so i am just customizing the predefined roles okay this predefined role is already available with the set of permissions and i'm as per my requirement i don't want that person to get uh, should should not have the permission to export it so i'm just customizing in such a way that i'm just removing the permission to export so how to do it just come back and big query data viewer okay and i'm just selecting here either you can uh, click this one uh, create role from selection which means you are basically creating a uh, another role from the selected role or else if you click this three dots you will see create role from this role both are same you can click any one so it will take few seconds okay fine so uh, once you click that you can customize it see if they see the title uh, it, it by, by default it it gives you as like custom bigquery data viewer actually the predefined role name is bigquery data viewer as you are customizing it it says as like custom bigquery data viewer okay and you can add description as per your requirement maybe i can add as like uh, role without export permission okay for my understanding uh, i'm just adding a description in this way means this role does not have the export permission and uh, this id will be created and uh, as we discussed earlier about the roles these are the launch states as like alpha beta general availability for now i'm not making any changes i'm just going with alpha so so these are the list of permissions that we have discussed earlier right 
and uh, as per my requirement what i said i don't want uh, this particular person who I, whom i am going to assign this customized role right he should not have an um, permission to export the tables so what i am going to do i am just unselect it because by default this permission is selected so what happens if i submit if i create he would get this permission as well but i don't want him to get this permission so what i am going to do i am just and selecting it and going to just creating this button so once i create it what happened a customized role will be created see a uh, custom bigquery data viewer this is the new role uh, that we have created now okay and basically uh, these are the customized role. if you see the symbol these are the customized role okay and uh, and this is the role which we have created now maybe we can just go and check custom bigquery data viewer i'm just clicking it if you see now it has only 14 permissions earlier it shows 16 uh, but still uh, at that time i told right though it was showing us like 16 one particular permission is not uh, you know applicable for my account means it's it's created from the it's not from the enterprise account right so uh let's consider that as a 15 permissions and out of 15 permissions i just unselected tables.export so if you see here i am having tables.get tables.list but i don't have the permissions to uh, permission as like tables.export that particular uh, permission was taken away okay so this is one way of creating a customized role by customizing the predefined one okay there is another way which we can build from the scratch as like at the top you will be seeing us like create role click here so once you click here again you should give the title so custom role one i put okay so earlier there was some four custom role as like custom 1 2 3 4 but this is custom role one okay and uh, description as per your uh, requirement how you are designing the role you can add the description and id will be created so i am not making any changes let it be in alpha so now you should add permissions okay uh, maybe uh, you can consider that uh, i am i want to assign this role uh, and specifically for only one permission it should have uh, maybe what let's go with the same big query okay uh these are all the permissions it shows right maybe for time being i just put this list only okay uh maybe i'm just considering that uh, there is a new, another new joining okay i am creating an account uh, in iam where he should have only this particular permission nothing nothing more than that okay not even other uh, permissions which we have uh, referred for the uh, bigquery uh, data viewer okay but this this is an extremely uh, this is an completely new uh, new user um, who should have only this particular permission nothing more than that okay so what i should do i am just adding only one permission selecting it adding it that's it and in addition to that you can also define what kind of a permission service if you can click you can see the service types status those kind of stuffs and i can create it so once you create it your customized role will be listed at the top basically custom role will be defined uh, means listed at the top of other roles okay so if you see here these two are the roles we have created now this other ignore this four one two three four which which was was created earlier and the status was deleted okay but uh, these two are the roles we have created now and even if you want to make sure that uh, it's custom role one this is the name we have given if you open it it has only one permission that we have added see this is the only one permission we have added fine then what we can do so now we have uh, seen how to uh, create customized role right let's see how to add this role assign this role to the principal so again you should go to the iam under iam um, as the principal is already added to test principal maybe i can delete it or else what i do under role you can see uh, 
maybe as I showed earlier, if you want to use a predefined role, you can directly go and all the roles are grouped based on the services. So if you're going for the BigQuery uh, predefined role, just go to BigQuery and under BigQuery, you'll be seeing all the predefined roles. And if we are using, if you want to use the basic, just go with basic option and all the, um, you know, uh, uh, options that comes under basic would be available here. And, but now if I want to use the custom role, if you just scroll your mouse over custom, uh, the list of uh, custom roles you have created would be shown this way, this side. Okay. Now for, for our demo, I have created two custom roles and those roles are shown here say for example if i want to assign this particular custom role which does not have export option uh related to bigquery i can just give it and save it so what happens now this particular user has only 15 per 14 permissions and that too related to bigquery and he cannot export uh, the tables as well but earlier when I have given owner, he almost have uh, access to all the services across the Google Cloud platform. Okay. But now I have given a customized profile, customized role, uh, which he which he can access only the BigQuery related service and that too he has only 14 permissions. So this is how uh, whenever you are creating roles, right? M mostly uh, it's not suggested to go with the basic roles because it's more powerful as you know. Uh, you would be going with the predefined roles and in some cases your predefined roles does not match with the uh, requirement because it that may also have more permissions uh, than the required thing or else in some cases it would have the less permissions as well so what you can do you can customize the role maybe you can customize the predefined role and uh, based on the requirement you can remove or add the new role or else you can build up new roles from the scratch and as you aware about the permissions you can add all the required permissions to it and assign that role to the principal okay so this is how iam works okay you add a principal means account and you assign the role towards it so when i say principal as you know there are uh, you know basically it can be a user or it can be a service account and if you want to uh, i have shown you how to create a user account and if you want to create a service account there will be an option as like service account here and click here and in the top you'll be seeing create service account click here and just give the name of the service account and for this account id you should be having uh, the g service account information account email account kind of a thing so basically it would be like g service account.com okay so once you have this information just create and continue that's it the account will be created uh, apart from that if you see uh yes this is one of the important uh policy troubleshooter so basically um this is uh, this particular option helps to identify to find what are all the permission a particular principal has say for example um, there are some 500 uh, people 500 people are working in your gcp platform okay especially you want to see uh, the list of permissions one particular user one particular principal has so what you can do you can give his email address being an administrator you can give his email address the principal's email address here and you can check the api calls so with that it will list out all the list of permissions that particular user has okay so in our example uh, the newly added principal he has only 15 sorry 14 permissions right so in that case if we give his email address and check for it we would be seeing all the 14 permissions will be listed out here so in like that if uh, out of 500 user if you want to uh, specifically uh, you know check the list of permissions for a particular user you can go with this option policy troubleshooter and um as you know uh, I said there would be 500 people, right? Uh, instead of going each person, if you if you want to, you know, customize a query or if you want to check a particular uh, permission, you want to check out across this 500 across the organization who has who all are having this particular permissions. Okay, Ex um, maybe the same example as like the export, right? What we discussed earlier. Uh, you can give that permission information and you can customize a query. You can create a query as like out of this 500 people who are having 
so and so permissions so it will list out all the principal's information it's a vice versa okay the policy troubleshooter you'd be giving the principal information and you retrieve you get the informations about the permissions you have however in the policy analyzer instead of going with individual permissions sorry individual persons or individual principal uh, checking you can customize a query and you can give uh, any permission and uh, you can check who are or having that particular perm permission across the organization and you can add labels here tags roles we have uh, discussed and quotas maybe let's discuss about this later so this is what iam is defining who can do what on the gcp resources